Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how we can create dynamic content in Oracle Apex. So, open any page in your uh, application and right click create region and set it types to dynamic content. Rename it to employees first of all for dynamic content we need to uh, create a report or we can say we need to create a HTML table so for HTML table uh, we can create it on wr 3 school HTML table W3 school and open this link and try yourself so this is our uh, table so first of all we need to uh, added this table for example I am going to create a report based on employees data so first of all we need employee number so here we have first column is employee number yeah we can see its id and after id we have its name so here we have name and then we have job job and then we have high date and salary and then we have salary okay so we have test this we have this uh, co these columns but I want job and name in the same uh, column high date and salary in the same column so for this purpose I need to use raw span equal to 2 and then for name I need to use call span and it is also 2 so this we will use with other column which is job okay now we need a uh, these more columns for example we don't need high date and uh, salary uh, in headings but after heading in a new row I need uh, first column is uh, for example it is name so its name and here we will change it personal information 
and here we have name and after name we have second one is job okay and for here we have job information okay so and name job and then i need a column which is hide date and then i need another column which is salary and remove this column now run it again so here you can see here we have id then we have personal information and in personal information we have name and job and for job information we have hire date and salary so i am removing these two headings run this again so it's looks good and here i need to provide some dummy information name is Nashad job is I did is and then we have salary and before its name we name its id which is one and then name then job then hire date and then salary run it again so it's look like this so now i need uh, some uh, css so for css we can use a table then we have remove this td and th and then we have a css property like border collapse border co PSC collapse and it's collapse run it again so there are no borders okay then uh, we need to use its width and it is 100% then we can uh, set font size if we want then border style style hidden and now we need to add some padding so that it's provide some gap and vertical we are using 5 pixels and for horizontal 10 pixel run your code again so this is uh, looks better then I need an other property which is this time we are going to use TD and table heading then we have uh, text align its text align must be center center and border of td and th is 
one pixel solid and color of the border is EC. Run your report again. So it's now it looks better. Okay. Now uh, copy all this code and move to your PLSQL code. Declare here we need to declare a variable content and its type is CLOB or you can use varchar then begin and and here content equal to copy paste your code and here we need to return content validate your okay content must be declare it is okay this is name of the variable that's good okay and run your page so it looks good so this is uh, basically a static content so for dynamic content if i want to uh, uh, populate name uh, job hire date and salary from database table we can uh, populate all the information from the table we will populate uh, the uh, all the information in the next lecture i hope you learned something useful in this lecture thank you so much